Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Chris, Christopher Farms. I'm Chris, this is Christopher Farms. And I'm in the shop. I gotta, I gotta come up with a name for what I wanna call this. My buddy has the Garage Mahal, so it's taken. I can't take Garage Mahal, but I'll think of something. Hey, I am gonna open up some stuff and I thought I would bring you along. Stay tuned. All right, so first box we have here came from Amazon. Oh, this knife needs some work. This is a uh, old knife that my dad used to carry. Put it in my pocket this morning. Not a real big knife, but uh, yeah, touch it up. Probably get the job done. All right. Ah, oh, I forgot I ordered these Christmas in uh, Christmas in August. So I'm always using Sharpies around the place. I got some of these uh, chisel Sharpies and uh, I, uh, I like to use carpenter's pencils and stuff when I'm working with wood, but I've been working with a lot of metal lately. So, uh, and this is just useful and permanent marker. Got those. I think this was an add-on so I could reach $25 and get free shipping too. <laughs> so I told you guys a while back that I got my soil tested and I wanted to get a soil test kit to see how accurate the home versions of these were. So I did go ahead and order it on, get some stuff off Amazon. So this is a little kit, a rapid soil test kit. You see it there. It tests uh, pH and uh, then nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. And it looks like you got, uh, there's a couple of little capsules in there for each. So this would be good for two tests. And then you'd have to probably order some more capsules or just get another test. So, and uh, it looks like there's actually two tests for pH, uh, two tubes for pH. So four total tests, I, I guess, or maybe you're supposed to use two capsules. Anyway, so I got that. So we'll do this and compare to what it says. Now see, here's a difference between the two. This is all it gives you on this is sort of high, medium, low, and very low. And then it doesn't give you specifics on the pH either. It just gives you uh, four different areas of pH. So right from the bat, I could tell this is gonna be a whole, lot a whole lot less accurate than the stuff they got in the lab. And I don't know if it says in here how much that cost or not. Um, yeah, this cost, Oh, wow. So this costs $11.66. So my lab test from the lab costs 20 bucks. So I don't know, especially if this is just a use once product, but we'll see. So we'll get that going on. So cool stuff there. I also got one of these. This was 10 bucks. This is one of the things that it's a soil meter, uh, moisture meter, light meter, and pH test kit. So you stick that in the ground, no batteries required. Got a couple of probes that go down to the ground. So we'll compare this pH level to the pH level that I got over there in the uh, rapid test soil tester and also to my lab results and see what it looks like in there. So that's that box. Let's see, what's another thing? This is another one I got in the mail. So I think I've told you guys before that I am, I've got a grant from the NCRS, National Conservation Resource Service, to do uh, about half an acre of wildflowers. And so I needed to order those wildflowers. So let me show you what I got here. So, got it well packaged. This came out of a place called Urban Farmer in Fishers, Indiana. And there's my shipping stuff. So this was a little pricey. Um, let me show you what I got and I'll talk about how much it costs. So these are two packs of five pounds each, 10 pounds total. Does that look like marijuana to you on the screen? In my little view screen, it sort of looks like marijuana. I assure you it is not marijuana. And looking at it directly, it does not, well, I wouldn't know what marijuana looks like. How would I know? Right. Anyway, so I'll take one of these out and show you. So that's what five pounds of Indiana wildflower seed looks like. And what I'll do is, uh, this is the seed that I'll, I'll, I'll uh, put on the ground to grow wildflowers. And so I got 10 pounds of that. 
under my grant, I'm supposed to do about half an acre and I've got enough to do, I think an acre, maybe an acre and a half. I'll have to do that. So I went ahead and got some extra because there's some areas that I just don't want to cultivate because of erosion issues and sort of on a hill. And I got some hills um, on the sides of drives that are just pretty inconvenient to mow or weed eat or anything. So I want to do some extra of that. So the extra stuff I got was uh, Monarch Attractant. It is the um, butterfly weed. What is it? Milkweed. It's milkweed, basically. Common name is milkweed. And so I got enough of that. I got a quarter pound of it. And what I'll do is I'll incorporate it into the 10 pounds that I have here. And that way I'll have a nice Monarch Attractant as well. And I'll have sort of a a monarch layover flight area as they uh, migrate north and south. So that's pretty cool. So this is another project that I gotta get done and get working on because I have to have it wrapped up pretty quick to recoup that grant money that's going out. So we'll show you guys some more about that as we move along in that project. So there's, there's the two big things that I got. Um, well, that have come in the mail. So that's my mail unboxing. So I got some other stuff here. So. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I like to go and see what I can find in Goodwill, uh, Goodwill stores. They have those here in Indiana. I don't know if they're across the country or not. Uh, Goodwill is sort of a, a nonprofit. They support uh, education and employment education and learning how to be an employee and stuff like that. So I like to go in and stop for stuff. I've got, what else do I have? I have something else around here. I like to go in and see, well, buy stuff for myself and then also stuff that maybe I could sell. So I found these. These are Duluth Trading Company. Um, Duluth Trading Company pants. So you can see the, the Duluth there and I uh, got the Duluth on the back. These are the real thick. I don't think these are the fire hose jeans. I've got fire hose jeans. Uh, I've got fire hose sh or shorts. Do I have them on? These might be them. Um, but these are really great durable material. I got them in my size, but these are, these look really good and picked them up for $7. Uh, got them for seven bucks and these retail for, I don't know, like 40, 45 bucks. And they're, uh, they're going pretty good on eBay too. So I don't know, I might have to turn around and sell them because I haven't been wearing a lot of pants lately, but these are pretty good and I'll have to really consider if I want to sell them or not, but should turn that profit on eBay. Um, yeah, and it's I won't I don't have any problem uh, going into uh, going into Goodwill and whipping out my phone and checking what the prices of stuff are on eBay. Uh, and here's a great one. This is awesome. So, if you guys are into the tactical stuff, you'll know what this company is. Uh, 511. These are 511 Tactical Series shorts. And all the stuff that 511 usually has, extra pockets and the D-rings and stuff like that. So they're new. Uh, new with tags, um, probably never been worn. If somebody wore them, they never took the tags off them. There's the tags on the back. So how much do you guys think I gave for these? These are probably retailing, I don't know, $35. What do you think on the internet, new? Uh, if you went to 511 and ordered them or a store that sells 511. So got these new with tags for four bucks. You believe me? Right there, $4. So there you go. There's a find that I got at Goodwill. So if you guys, don't stop in your local thrift stores, Goodwill being one of them, Salvation Army has them, it has thrift stores, and there's other folks that have thrift stores as well. If, you don't, uh, if you're not stopping in there and checking stuff out and seeing if there's some fines that you could get, uh, you should, you should stop in there. So yeah, some really good 511 shorts that I picked up at Goodwill for $4, $4. So this is another thing, it's my size, but if I could turn a little profit, I don't need fancy shorts like this. I, I'll find some shorts that won't turn a profit. So that's my Goodwill stuff that I got. What else do I have here? So let me wrap up this video and I will break out what I got today. I went to town, went to Menards and uh, Menards has had the 11% off deal rebate since all this COVID stuff started. So it's a good time to go and get stuff. You get store credit, so it's really not like cash, but at any rate, you get some stuff off. So I needed to and want to do some signs uh, for Christopher Farms when I start selling stuff so I, I could make some signs to hang out at the end of my driveway for the farm stand, peppers, tomatoes, pumpkins, whatever. So people driving by could you know see, oh, hey, look, there's tomatoes or whatever. And the way that I'm planning on doing it, I'll have a sign 
and it'll say tomatoes. And here's an example. This, this, the box has an example, uh, sweet corn right there. So there's one example of that. So what I would do is I'd have these signs, and if I have tomatoes available, I'd go and hang out the tomato sign. If I've got peppers to, available, I'd hang the, pep, the pepper sign, and they would all be able to hang on you know, uh, underneath each other and stuff like that. And then I could also take it to the farmer's market so somebody that's uh, maybe on the other side of the farmer's market looking for tomatoes would look down the row, look down the aisle and see my sign that says tomatoes and they just come right over to me. So having that uh, marketing up there is good. So I got this, I'm actually gonna play around with this this afternoon. And um, I didn't have a router. So I went ahead and got Menard's cheap store version router. Um, just, you know, if I don't get into this, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money. And I've looked at this stuff or I've looked for this stuff at auctions and have never really found anything that doesn't get snatched up by somebody else. Or it's a really, really fancy version uh, from a great manufacturer and it goes for way more than I wanted to pay. So I went ahead and broke down and got this stuff. And so not only will I make myself some signs, but I figure I could probably start making some signs for other people uh, that may want to sign, maybe sell some stuff on Etsy or uh, even eBay possibly and maybe do some custom signs or different things like that. They also make a, uh, a deal where, I can't remember what it is, but you can do script and you can do pictures and you can do different things like that. And I actually picked one of those up at auction, so I need to see if I can get that working with this router I just got and maybe do a little side business. I think it's all about like picking up the, you know, the stuff. I can make you know, 10, 20, 50 bucks selling a few signs a week and I make some vegetable money and I make some eBay money and you know, selling shorts I see at Goodwill. So making enough money to get along until I turn some stuff around. So that's it, that's the unboxing for, for now, for this week. I don't know, I don't have anything else that I know of that's on order, so that's it. So I'm gonna turn the video off and Get to making some signs. Figure this out. Y'all take care.